Hello guys, welcome to our channel PKR Vibes Career and Growth. First of all, thank you so much for your time to spending here to learn something new today. So uh, many people, I mean, I think many subscribers are requesting to do a video on a UOB explanation of a benefits. And also I am uh, trying to help the people who are beginners to healthcare domain because they don't know how to uh, understanding and I mean how to read an UOB and what kind of information is available on UOB and how to analyze UOB. For example, there are a terminology, uh, medical billing terminology on a UOB. What kind of terminology are there and what are those we will discuss now. Before that, uh, if you are watching my video first time and if you are not yet subscribed, could you please subscribe our channel PKR Vibes Career and Growth and hit the bell icon so that you will get every my video as a notification to your mobile. Okay, uh, before that we have to understanding uh, the very basic concept on a EOB. So first of all, we have to understand what is EOB. So before I giving this uh, statement or sentence, I would like to explain some basic uh, concept. Generally what happened, you know, uh, in healthcare domain, there are uh, three pieces, patient, provider, nothing but doctor, second piece is doctor, third one is insurance, payer. So three pieces, patient, payer and provider. So generally what happened, you know, doctor is giving medical services to the patient or patient will get treatment from the doctor. After that, this treatment is completed. After that, the doctor is submitting that particular kind of treatment, whatever given to the patient to the insurance companies in the form of medical claim forms. Once doctor submitted his medical claim form to the insurance, insurance acknowledge that medical claim form or otherwise they will accept it or receive the medical claim form from the doctor. So the insurance is received the medical claim form from the doctor. After that, they will process that medical claim form or they will process that claim. Generally, we can call it like a claim. So insurance is process the medical claim after doctor submitting the medical claim form to the insurance that processed claim is known as a EOB why I am telling EOB means explanation of a benefits is nothing but a document that your insurance sends you after processing a claim so generally whenever the claim is processed by the insurance that will be known as a adjudicated claim or processed claim so whenever claim is processed uh, one number is generated from the insurance companies so that we can call it as a claim number so after claim process that claim might be processed towards payment or processed towards a denial so there is a claim might be payment to the doctor or might be denial to the doctor so based on EOB, based on EOB explanation of a benefits, we can understand that claim is denied or the claim is paid. So here EOB is nothing but a document that your insurance, that your insurance sends to your doctor or you after processing a claim. So generally we have to understand that EOB is a like a document like a pdf document generally we will get from a insurance whenever insurance is processed the claim or adjudicated the claim that is nothing but eob so generally eob is having some kind of information we will discuss now that eob is nothing but a document we will get from the insurance companies okay and uh, second point is it lists the goods and services covered under the health insurance plan so generally you know whenever patient is i mean subscriber whenever the subscriber or member is getting an health insurance plan from the insurance companies the insurance company clearly telling that this these services are covered under your plan and 
the other services some of other services are not covered under the your plan so generally they tell that these are the covered services these are the non covered services so so the covered services from the insurance companies to the patient are known as a benefits generally you know they will cover this kind of benefits i mean this kind of services to the patients nothing but insurance is giving some kind of benefits to the patient if the patient is taking that kind of plan so it is a based on plan and also insurance also clearly telling that this kind of services particular services are not covered we are not giving this kind of benefits to you so that kind of information also you can understand and you can also observe on a eov and uh, coming to the third point they break down what insurance covered and also the services that were not covered i think we covered just now so they are telling that on eov you can understand that these are the covered services these are the not covered services whatever the covered services for that only your doctor will get the payment from the insurance companies whatever the non covered services that might be non covered because of your doctor billing or other otherwise that is a non covered because of your uh, i mean patient plan so that kind of non covered services either might be non covered because of doctor billing and also otherwise it is a non covered because of patient uh, taking services patient plan so sometimes you know insurance also not covered based on their payer guidelines but it is not required to understanding too much that thing here just we have to understand that non covered services either might be patient as per patient plan non covered or otherwise it is a pro as per provider contract it is a non covered or otherwise this services are non covered as per the payer guidelines also but simply we have to understand that there is a non covered benefits and covered benefits generally covered benefits are getting the payments from the insurance companies okay here now we have to discuss about what information do you see on medical explanation of benefits so generally you know i given sorry first point is to which address eob is being mailed or delivered see uh, you submitted i mean doctor submitted a medical claim to insurance insurance is adjudicated the claim or they process they received and they processed the claim after that they are giving the status to the doctor in the form of in the form of pdf or in the form in the form of uh, i mean document so that is known as a eob right that eob is that eob is send is being mailed to the doctor to to doctor address right that location address i mean generally you know the billing address to address the eob is mailed that address also you can see on a eob and i will show you uh, one example of eob where the address is located in the next slide see before that you have to understand that you can you can also see the address to which address the eob is sent from the insurance and uh, second point is subscriber information you know subscriber is nothing but the person who is taking the policy from the insurance company is known as a subscriber generally what is a subscriber insurance uh, information subscriber is nothing but the the member who is taking the policy right so policy number will be also subscriber information sometime you know uh, what kind of uh, uh, insurance the subscriber is taken and what is the insurance plan type and what is the insurance name that kind of information is known as a subscriber information sometimes you know there is a group ids for that particular insurance that group id is also coming under the subscriber information so generally you know the subscriber what is the insurance subscriber as the insurance name and what is the subscriber policy number these are coming into the subscriber information and uh, coming to the patient information you know <clears throat> patient information subscriber information generally it will be like same in this patient information also you know like what is the patient name what is the patient first name and last name what is the patient account number this kind of information coming into the patient information and uh, 
coming to the date of service you know we all of you know very well right on which date the patient is visited doctor and taken a service from the doctor that particular date is known as a date of service in a medical billing so generally you know the date of service also you can see on a medical eob explanation of benefits and uh, you know after that you can see generally you know total charge amount we all of you know right for example a doctor is there he given treatment to the patient after that you know 500 dollar charges uh, done on that medical claim so he submitted with the bill amount of 500 dollar even to the insurance company that total bill amount of 500 dollar amount is known as a total charge amount also so how much is charge 500 dollar 500 dollar treatment is given to the patient by the doctor including all kind of related service that is called as a bill amount or charge amount on that particular medical claim that information also you can see on a uh, explanation of benefits and uh, after that amount paid by the insurance so your doctor is submitted medical claim to insurance then insurance process the claim for example we thought that that claim was paid after process the after processing that claim was paid to the doctor at the time you can see the paid amount at the time you can see the paid amount for example that claim is not paid to the doctor the insurance is giving a denial to the doctor then you can see the denial code on a denied eob you can see the payment amount on a paid eob and a denied code on a denied eob sometimes what happen you know claim is partially paid partially denied at the time you can see paid amount for the one line of cpt procedure code and other line of cpt or procedure code you can see the denied and denied code and also denied reason why the insurance is denied that reason also given on a eob if it is paid how much amount is paid by the insurance to the doctor that paid amount in a dollar also given on a eob you can see on a eob and uh, coming to the total patient responsibility you know for example you know we build a claim to insurance insurance is given a payment and some based on co-sharing agreement are based on uh, patient provider agreements are uh, based on policy agreements some services are not covered or some services are liable to the patient so insurance is for example hundred dollar eighty dollars is paid by the insurance twenty dollars they given like a co-insurance or co-pay that should be patient responsibility patient need to pay from his pocket so that is called as a patient responsibility so total how much is patient responsibility is there patient responsibility is including deductible scope as coinsurance this is all known information is available on a explanation of a benefits so generally whenever the claim is processed by insurance insurance that insurance giving a document to the doctor with this kind of all informations so you can observe and you can analyze you can understand easily by seeing this information on a eob and i will now uh, give one example of eob to understand easily okay guys now we are discussing about very basic and important formula to read an eob or to understanding an eob see uh, if you are not good at uh, understanding this formula i am telling you frankly i am telling you even two or three years experience guys also unable to analyze eob are understanding an eob they are not good at reading eob because they don't know what are the calculations are there how to understanding the calculations they don't know that is why they don't understanding eob clearly even they don't understand sometimes the claim is paid or denied also that kind of situation also comes if you are a not good at this formula so uh, first of all i am telling you uh, here the basic formula is build amount is nothing but allowed amount plus contractual adjustment so build amount is nothing but the total charge amount on your claim so your doctor submitting a medical claim to the insurance company with total 
charge amount is there right whatever the treatment is done by the doctor to the patient that amount is known as a total charge amount is also called as a total build amount so that build amount is nothing but total allowed amount plus contractual adjustment amount so allowed amount who will decide allowed amount the insurance will decide an allowed amount so for example your doctor example for example your doctor bill on your claim 500 dollar even that bill amount is 500 dollar even so your your bill at the 500 but insurance is already know that this cpt is how much they want to uh, uh, give the payment as per their contract so at the time insurance is allowed some kind of amount to your doctor of 500 dollar even they allowed for example they allowed they allowed for example we thought that they are allowed 200 dollar even that is known as a allowed amount how why we are telling that allowed amount because insurance is allowed that amount based on the contract or fee schedules of the doctor and insurance so that is nothing but allowed amount and also they allowed 200 dollar out of 500 dollar what about the remaining 300 dollar even that is nothing but contractual adjustment as per the agreement between the doctor and insurance so your doctor is submitted a medical claim with 500 dollar even to the insurance company insurance is processed and process that claim towards the payment that so that is why they allowed some amount on 500 dollar that allowed amount of insurance is a 200 dollar even the remaining amount is nothing but contractual adjustment so generally we will call it as, call it as a write off amount or otherwise insurance discount amount to the doctor or, other, or nothing but provider discount amount are also called as a contractual adjustment amount or adjustment amount generally so this is the thing basic thing so we have to understand that this is the basic formula build amount total build amount is nothing but allowed amount plus contractual adjustment okay now we are coming to allowed amount so now i am coming from basic formula there is a allowed amount right insurance is allowed that particular amount based on the procedure code that might be fixed as per the procedure to procedure wise so now we are discussing about what is allowed amount included so allowed amount is nothing but paid amount plus patient responsibility so generally you know paid amount because if they allowed they allowed the amount into the paid amount and patient responsibility so what is allowed amount someone is asking now so generally it is a combination of a i mean combination of a paid amount plus patient responsibility so that include paid amount and patient responsibility so here i am telling right example we build a 500 dollar even insurance allowed 200 dollar even and the remaining amount is discount that is 300 dollar even now allowed amount 200 dollar even is nothing but included included paid amount plus patient responsibility paid amount for example we understand that it is a 180 dollar even and 20 is a patient responsibility that is nothing but it is a co-insurance pr2 we can consider and it <clears throat> so generally here 200 of allowed amount is given in is nothing but combination of a paid amount of 180 dollar even and patient responsibility 20 pr2 as a patient responsibility that is 20 dollar even okay now we have to come to your patient responsibility again individually you know patient responsibility is nothing but that might be combination of three things pr1 pr2 and pr3 pr1 is a nothing but deductible pr2 is a co-insurance pr3 is a copay so on eob on eob you can see the paid amount i mean doctor paid amount insurance allowed amount what is the total build amount what is the contractual adjustment amount what is the patient responsibility is the patient responsibility you can see in the uh, in this format pr1 pr2 pr3 pr1 is equal to 0 pr2 is equal to 20 dollar as per my example and pr3 is a 0 and allowed amount is a 200 dollar even and uh, contractual adjustment is a 300 dollar even like a co45 you can see because it is a discount amount is already uh, uh, you know given by co45 
okay allowed amount they will see the allowed amount you can see there because insurance is decide the allowed amount and the total bill amount we are giving to the insurance so we already know that because we are submitting this claim nothing but what is the total charge amount this all terminology and all details you can see on a eob that is why i am telling this is a very basic and very very important formula you have to understand okay okay guys now we are discussing about uh, this uh, explanation of eob here i given one example uh, eob how it is there and uh, we will discuss now so there is a you know uh, there is logo health insurance company generally we will see the health insurance uh, company address also on this eob and uh, next one is here the first point uh, Johnny smith uh, address generally to which address this eob is mailed out is being mailed out or otherwise uh, to which address this eob is delivered that address should be also here generally this is a billing address of the doctor doctor's billing address the first one is a uh, doctor billing address john smith address we can see here that is doctor billing address and uh, generally you know health insurance company address also you can visible on this eobis and uh, coming to second point is the subscriber information generally you know the member id uh, that particular you know policy id member id is nothing but policy id generally whenever the patient is taking any policy from the insurance they are providing uh, the policy id to the patient i mean subscriber right that is member id we can see on this explanation of benefits and also group id is generally it is a payer uh, identification number so that is uh, also we can visible on this uh, eob and uh, group name nothing but insurance name uh, like uh, you know what is the insurance name also we can visible on this uh, explanation of benefits and coming to third point it is a patient name uh, generally you know a patient first name last name and uh, where the service is done here the place of service that is generally called as a place of service on which place on which area like for example uh, there is a emergency services emergency room is there in that emergency or operation room the service is done by the doctor to the patient at the time that emergency room is known as a place of service room so that place of service is a emergency room at the time but here the place of service is outpatient on this eob and the date received on which date this uh, eob is received also we can visible on this patient uh, information and also in addition to that we can see claim number right generally whenever the claim is being processed by uh, health insurance they will give the finalized statement like the claim is paid to doctor or otherwise the claim is denied so that information for example claim is denied they will provide on this eob what is the denied code so uh, and also remark code exactly what is exactly reason for this denial for example claim is paid we can see what is the paid amount what is the allowed amount is there any patient responsibility applied on this claim every that information we can see that thing we know after claim is processed by the insurance once claim is processed by the insurance we have to understand that there is a claim number is generated so that is what uh, for example claim is still in process at the time also by seeing this reference number we can go for next again call to the insurance for the exactly status with the by using this reference number of claim number and uh, type of service is medical and uh, see uh, type of service like medical for example we are billing the claims like dental then the type of service is dental or behavioral at the time the type of service is behavioral services but here we are given example is type of service on this eob is a medical and uh, on which date claim is being processed by the insurance that information is called as a date process date i mean that information is also uh, we can find on eob and the next one is here uh, taken as a provider name nothing but to which uh, provider office we have to submit eob or otherwise insurance is giving this benefits right to which address i mean to which office of the doctor they have to give this benefits nothing but the office name or doctor name here generally e and r uh, hospital that is 
given here as an example and payment to that hospital only same that doctor so coming to four five six and seven points on this eob uh, this is about service details generally we can call it as also uh, treatment details or otherwise generally the insurance is giving benefits to doctors based on service whatever we submitted to the insurance so your fourth point is date of services so date of services is nothing but we are of you know right so that date of services i mean on which date service is given to patient that date is known as a date of service that we can visible on a eob and also total charge amount for example the treatment is given to the doctor about 500 dollar event charges that total charges will be is also known as a total build amount that is a 500 dollar event that is a total charge amount example i am telling so among 500 dollars event how much amount is paid by the insurance that is known as a paid to doctor amount so generally you know insurance is allowed allowed of your charge amount and they will allow so and so amount after they allowing some amount they will give the payment to the doctor from allowed amount so that amount is known as a paid amount to the doctor that is the sixth point here and uh, generally we discussed right uh, there are a covered benefits and a non covered benefits based on a patient plan type and also that is also based on a doctor contractual adjustment also because some services are not covered because of patient plan and also because of providers uh, fee schedule or providers uh, right of thing i mean provider agreements sometimes what happen you know some services is not covered based on the payer guidelines insurance guidelines also for example you are submitting claims to uh, insurance uh, for example we consider you are submitting claims to medicare uh, based uh, for your cosmetic or facial uh, uh, design i mean cosmetic surgery or, or, or any related uh, which is not covered by the insurance then they are clearly telling that this cosmetic services are not covered for this patient and also patient already aware this thing because uh they are clearly uh, give the uh, you know notification to the patient that this kind of services are not covered before they are taking the plan patient i mean insurance plan so like that there are a covered and non covered benefits so that will be which are covered they will give the payment to i mean the insurance will give the benefits to that covered benefits but whatever non covered charges are there for those non covered charges the insurance is not giving the payments because that non covered charges as per patient plan patient is liable patient is responsible for that non covered benefits so that is why that is comes under the patient responsibility also and basic patient responsibility we know all of you that it is a pr1 pr2 pr3 deductible co insurance and copay so uh, you know we all of you know that things so if it is pr1 how we have to understand some time they will give the code pr1 that is nothing but deductible amount how much it is applied so if there is a patient responsibility pr2 also then they will tell that pr2 is like for example 30 dollar even nothing but we have to understand it is a co insurance if there is a pr3 on this eob we have to clearly understand that it is a copay so total patient responsibility is nothing but including whatever the patient is responsible to pay from his out of his pocket so for a, for it is a true patient responsibility deductible copay co insurance or some non covered charges also it is patient responsibility if as per it is patient plan it is non covered so at the time then we can call it like a total patient responsibility is the total uh, whatever the patient is liable to pay from is out of his pocket so generally uh, while you are reading i while you are analyzing uob we have to understand that there are a service details and patient details and also address to which address uob is uh, will be mailed being mailed or being delivered that address information we will see and major thing is 
claim information and uh, for example we will discuss in next videos i will explain uh, once claim is paid what kind of uh, payment uh, details we have to read and uh, what is allowed or what is discount and what is the uh, like insurance is paid this kind of all details i will explain on a claim paid uh, eob example in next video at the same time for example claim is sometimes paid and sometimes is denied by the insurance so if claim is denied by the insurance what kind of uh, codes are available on a denied eob and how we will understand it is a denied eob or paid eob that thing also i will explain on your next video so this is example uh, uh, pattern of eob i explained here but in next video i will explain uh, with example for the paid eob and also denied eob and also we will discuss one more example partially paid and partially denied eobs also hello guys if you felt uh, content is useful could you please like our channel uh, so that it will reach us many more needy people who are looking this kind of content and also if you have any uh, doubts or clarifications or would you like to give any feedback or suggestions to me also could you please uh, feel free to uh, comment uh, on this video so that i will uh, help you because i'm here to help you i will uh, i will share my knowledge how much where i am good at so we will be everyone at the same page to uh, getting some confidence or some knowledge in this healthcare domain so thank you guys thank you for your time and really appreciate your time have a good health bye for now